Yes, one day the river will overflow and there will be nowhere else for us to go. And we will run, run, wishing we have put out the fire, wishing that we have put out the fire. Today you and I will have that opportunity to put out the fire. Protection of children's rights is vital. You know, the federal government and other stakeholders have been urging this aspect. You all come back to Street Report on Ebona at the 103.5 FM. I am Martin Ifan Shukwekezi, as I number the post. The one that I call Metal. So the question here is how can we build a better future for our children? You know, when we say our children, you know, the, like the child in question must not be someone who came from your own boss you know from your own from your from you you know our children is every child in the society is everybody's child you know uh -huh. when we talk about the rights of children we are talking about protection their rights to education how vital is that to the development of our society you know and upper state is one of the place where education is taken seriously a lot of children don't even know you know what it means to be denied the protection or their rights to education you know, i'm talking about the ones that are in school so what about the ones that are not in school you know you know what happened when you know thoughtful nigerians make a move bike man donates writing materials to pupils in a bad door those kind of things are, do they happen around us you know uh -huh. a bike man or kada rider uh are they okay Adejare has donated writing materials such as books, pencils, pen and erasers, what thousands of naira to pupils of uh, St. Paul's Anglican School, Yabule in Ibadan, or your state. Adejare, during the donation, charged the students to always read their books and urge them to make use of the donated materials. He said that the, don the donation was his little effort at making his country a better place by encouraging those who may be in need. So, what do you say? Just like the Chinese proverb that says that every child is like a piece of paper. You know, everyone in the society writes on that piece of paper. What are you writing on the piece of paper in front of you? The piece of papers in front of you, all the children around you. Uh, what you're writing, are they positive or are they negative, really? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. So I went to Kwa ni hai bali meta ata kai chobo ma kanda na da gazia ofo kai let's kai chu utwa yi si make hana shi ya back to school Nigeria as of today bo the country where the greatest number of out of school children you know uh -huh. and if you and I we don't begin to make uh, efforts you know to fix this thing it might get worse by the day uh, we don't know what might become of our society if this should continue basically so how do we solve that situation back to school and then uh, this school gives us the opportunity or any video from school blend the bamado to become something the society like that will be of positive uh, outlook or outcome for the entire society you know uh -huh. so those who get to miss that basic education understands that really something is missing so at the time i thought about it last week we talked about we talked about it and then a lot of uh, some people came through we now have like pupils and students who are out of school who can say okay we know these ones so on like on this particular edition you're going to listen to a report based on that you know uh -huh. but my aim here is to get us to see what we can do to fix the out of school menace around us basically mm -hmm. <laughs> So what we want to achieve here today, you know, we uh, want to uh, achieve a situation whereby we do more than just what that bike man did. His own donation 
was wonderful he did it for the good like for the good reason and we appreciate that but our focus here is on those who are underprivileged you know the ones who are not in school at all the bike man went to school and donated those uh, materials so what about what what about the ones who are not in school how do we fix it how do we get them back to school you know uh -huh. the ones who don't have anyone anybody to help them no family member so on this edition i want us to help this back to school initiative because a lot of out of school children hopes like a lot of their hope depends on it you know we are now looking for the way to help them get back to school and i'm calling on you to help somebody get back to school it is not easy for underprivileged children to step forward but some of them stepped forward they came and said yes we are out of school we need help last week that's what we i what i actually achieved last week basically by the help of the most high king who directs everything so today we want to get started by helping those ones like we we can you know and we also we are also looking out for the ones who are out of school to also come in and then we know that okay we have this particular number then see how we work about it take a listen to this report when we get back street report continues to unfold at the back